Hello, and welcome to the Drug Discovery World podcast, a podcast covering topics around drug discovery and development, pharma and biotech. My name is Giles, and I'm here to take you through this episode. Today's episode is taken from our winter 2018-19 issue, and is titled The Evolution of Transdermal Drug Delivery and Treating Migraine. The article was written by Dr. Mahmoud Ameri and Haley Lewis, both of Zosano Pharma. So now on to the main article, The Evolution of Transdermal Drug Delivery and Treating Migraine. Transdermal drug delivery, TDD, is a promising method for drug application that has major advantages over some of the most common routes of drug administration. In most cases, oral drug delivery is the most common and convenient route of drug administration due to a high rate of patient compliance, cost-effectiveness, portability, ease of production, and predetermined dosage. However, there are limitations with oral drug delivery such as incomplete delivery due to the unpredictability of gastrointestinal absorption. Parenteral routes of administration, such as injection, is another common drug delivery method. Advantages of parenteral drug delivery include rapid onset of action and circumvention of gastrointestinal degradation of the drug, but this method is invasive and sometimes painful. It also has a lower rate of patient compliance and requires a trained administrator. Transdermal drug delivery, on the other hand, involves the non-invasive delivery of medications through the skin surface, and when applied, can deliver the drug at a predetermined rate across the skin to achieve either a local or systemic effect. History of transdermal delivery development Transdermal delivery of medications is not a new concept. The use of transdermal delivery of homemade medicinal preparations dates to the early 20th century, Mustard plasters were used for severe chest congestion. The belladonna plaster, containing 0.25% of belladonna alkaloid, had a place in the US pharmacopoeia as a transdermal analgesic. Perhaps the most remarkable forerunner of modern transdermal medication was stronger mercurial ointment, used as a treatment for syphilis when salvazin and other arsenicals were in use, before the discovery of penicillin. Even the composition of this ointment was remarkable, it contained 50% of elemental mercury. First generation transdermal drug delivery. Transdermal drug delivery offers advantages over conventional, parenteral, and oral routes. They ensure controlled absorption and more uniform plasma drug concentrations. Bioavailability is improved by avoiding first pass hepatic metabolism and enzymatic or pH associated deactivation. The first generation of transdermal drug delivery is responsible for most of the transdermal patches that have thus far been in clinical use. More than 30 years ago, the nicotine patch revolutionized smoking cessation by continually suppressing the smoker's craving for a cigarette. CATPRES is the first patch that delivers seven-day dosing of clonidine to hypertensive patients who otherwise would have had to adhere to taking one tablet twice a day. This is the first example of a non-injectable sustained-release dosage form that achieves seven-day delivery for a small molecule. It demonstrates the therapeutic benefit of a dosage form that can sustain a flat blood level profile and has the convenience of a once-a-week dosing for chronic treatment. Duragesic transformed post-surgical breakthrough pain care by providing a non-oral, non-injectable, sustained-release opioid pain management solution that lasts three days per application. The Exelon patch, a rivagistamine patch introduced in 2007, embodies an innovative treatment route for dementia patients and their caregivers. It affords a visible reminder to both patients and their caregivers that they have taken their medicine. The Exelon patch has a superior safety profile, for example less nausea and vomiting, and a convenient once-a-day dosing interval, compared with the capsule and oral solution. Its precipitous success exemplifies how development of a transdermal patch can be a sound approach for product lifecycle management. Second generation transdermal drug delivery. The second generation of transdermal drug delivery recognizes that skin permeability enhancement is required to expand the scope of transdermal drugs. All of the products that have been commercialized have been devoted to iontophoresis, 
which is a method of transferring substances across the skin by applying an electrical potential difference. The Lidocyte topical system, an iontophoretic patch with a portable electronic controller and energy source, delivers lidocaine and epinephrine simultaneously to attain dermal analgesia on intact skin. Imparting dermal analgesia prior to venipunctures takes 10 minutes, much faster than a topical anesthetic such as EMLA, eutetic mixture of lidocaine and prilocaine topical cream, which may take up to one hour. In spite of its medical benefit, for example, faster onset of action, the treatment cost compared with a conventional topical cream limited its commercial success. Viteris decided to remove lidocyte from the market in 2008 after only two years. Cynera, a topical anesthetic patch with a controlled heating pod, delivers lidocaine and tetracaine to numb intact skin in 20 minutes, prior to minor needle procedures for pediatric patients. Although both of these products illustrate how technological advances in TDDs could foster therapeutic advantages, they also make the case that TDDs need to proactively address the total value proposition to the patients and payers while providing a strong, compelling medical benefit. Ionsys, an iontophoretic transdermal patch for on-demand self-activating delivery of fentanyl, permits patients to have control of their own pain management. In 2006, both the US FDA and the European Medicines Agency approved Ionsys for the treatment of acute post-operative pain. However, following identification of corrosion in a system component of one lot of Ionsys, which could trigger self-activation of the system, a potentially lethal overdosing risk, the European Medicines Agency recommended suspension of the marketing authorization for Ionsys in November 2008. Janssen Silak, the developer and marketer of Ionsys, subsequently withdrew Ionsys from all European markets. Ionsys was very much at the leading edge of innovation for a transdermal drug delivery system. Its on-demand, patient-involved pain management concept had the opportunity to showcase what personalized pain treatment could be. Regrettably, prohibitive technical intricacy and overwhelming product quality challenges short-circuited, literally and figuratively, this once promising prospect. During the past decade, Transdermal drug delivery has essentially remained static, and there has been little change in the composition of patch systems. Modifications have been mostly limited to refinements of the materials used. One reason might be that only certain specialized companies can manufacture transdermal patches. Another reason is that only a limited number of drugs fit the molecular weight, lipophilicity, and potency requirements for transdermal absorption. Third generation transdermal drug delivery. The third generation of transdermal drug delivery systems is poised to make significant impact on drug delivery because it targets its effects to the stratum corneum. This targeting enables stronger disruption of the stratum corneum barrier and therefore more effective transdermal delivery. The third generation of transdermal drug delivery systems use microneedles as a means of circumventing the stratum corneum. Limitations with respect to the molecular weight of the drug is not of concern with this form of microneedle-mediated transdermal drug delivery. For therapeutic protein and peptide delivery, while intradermal delivery may provide a more advantageous pharmacokinetic profile compared with subcutaneous or intramuscular injections, other tangible patient benefits, such as easy self-administration, less perceived pain, enhanced safety and ambient temperature stability, are correspondingly essential to make this a compelling product concept. Developing transdermal drug delivery to treat migraine. Migraine is a disabling neurological disease that involves recurrent attacks of moderate to severe head pain. It is one of the most disabling diseases in the world and is a leading cause of disability among all neurological disorders. Due to the severity of migraine attacks, migraine treatments need to bring relief to patients quickly and safely. Recent advances in the development of transdermal drug delivery for treatment of migraine show promise. Unmet need. Migraine is the most common disease in the world, affecting approximately 39 million people in the US and 1 billion worldwide. More than 90% of migraine sufferers are unable to work or function normally during a migraine due to severe head pain and associated neurological symptoms, including nausea, 
vomiting, and extreme sensitivity to light and sound. The transdermal route offers a large and varied surface, as well as ease of application. There are limitations for this type of delivery, since molecules with molecular weight greater than 1 kDa are unable to cross the stratum corneum. Triptans are first-line therapies for moderate to severe migraine and come in several formulations, including oral pill, nasal spray, and injection. Each of these routes of administration have their own set of limitations. Oral pills, the most common way to treat migraine, are slowly absorbed by the body, leading to delayed migraine symptom relief. Nasal sprays can offer faster relief, but the nasal route has a limited surface area, and the fast mucociliary clearance and drainage into the esophagus can result in highly variable absorption. Although the drug is sprayed nasally, a significant amount of drug is swallowed and then absorbed by the body, which can result in gastroparesis, a common condition among those suffering from migraine. The pulmonary route offers a large and highly vascularized mucosal surface for drug absorption, but the accessibility with currently available inhalers is limited and can additionally be compounded by variability from patient self-administration. Injection is the most effective delivery route. However, drawbacks of this method include pain, stigma associated with administering injections in public, and needle phobia. Research demonstrates that treating migraine is a race against time. The faster a patient receives a drug, the more likely that patient is able to fully benefit from it. Although migraine is not life-threatening, it is severely debilitating and reduces the quality of life of those who suffer from this disease. Innovation Though there are a number of treatment options available for patients suffering from migraine, there is still a high unmet need for additional options that are non-invasive, fast-acting, and bypass the gastrointestinal tract. In recent years, innovators in the field have been working to provide new options that address these unmet treatment needs. In 2013, the United States Food and Drug Administration, FDA, approved Zekiti, a single-use migraine patch that delivers sumatriptan through a mild-powered electrical current. The developers of Zekiti recognize that sumatriptan is an effective, already approved drug for the treatment of migraine, and worked to improve delivery of the drug to patients suffering from migraine to potentially provide faster symptom relief. To do this, they employ the use of iontophoretic transdermal system to deliver sumatriptan directly to the bloodstream, bypassing the gastrointestinal tract. However, in 2016, less than a year after Zekiti launched, the FDA issued a safety warning regarding the risk of burns and possible scarring due to the patch. Despite this setback, development of transdermal drug delivery for the treatment of migraine has not stalled. Zosano Pharma is currently developing Catripta, formerly M207, its proprietary formulation of Zolmotriptan delivered utilizing its adhesive dermally applied microneedle, ADAM, technology. Zolmotriptan is an effective, FDA-approved treatment for migraine, but is only available as an oral tablet and nasal spray, and not as an injectable. Innovators at Zazano recognized that there is room for improvement in the delivery of this migraine drug to potentially provide faster relief to patients. The company's transdermal drug delivery system consists of a titanium microneedle array attached to an adhesive patch seated in a retainer ring, which is applied with an applicator. When the patch is applied to the skin, microneedles coated with zolmotriptan physically break the stratum corneum and penetrate the epidermis and dermis, where the dry drug coating is dissolved by the surrounding skin interstitial fluid, delivering the drug directly into the bloodstream. Clinical results to date demonstrate its potential to provide positive symptom relief to patients with migraine. Conclusion Transdermal Drug Delivery Transdermal drug delivery technology offers compelling opportunities to address a number of issues associated with commonly used drug delivery methods. In time, it is anticipated that technological advancements in transdermal drug delivery will lead to improvement in quality of life for those suffering from migraine and potentially other diseases. This article was written by Dr. Mahmoud Amari and Haley Lewis. Dr. Mahmoud Amari is the Vice President of Research and Development at Zasano Pharma. As one of the company's co-founders, he brings 20 years of drug delivery, preclinical, and early ex-US clinical development of combination products to the company. 
Prior to Zasano, he was at Alza J&J, where he co-invented and developed the adhesive dermally applied microarray system, and holds more than 20 patents and patent applications, all relating to the Zasano drug delivery technology. Haley Lewis is the Senior Vice President of Operations at Zasano Pharma. Prior to joining Zasano, she spent more than 11 years in regulatory affairs at Depomed Incorporated, a specialty pharmaceutical company, where she was involved in the approval of three commercial products. Over the course of her career, she has enabled eight investigational products to be studied in humans, five of which have advanced to the completion of phase three trials. If you've enjoyed this episode, then you can subscribe to Drug Discovery World free of charge by visiting dw-online.com, where you can also view all of our articles, including references and images, and download the original PDFs. You can find the links in the show notes. If you're enjoying the podcast, then as always, do leave us a review and subscribe, and you can follow us on LinkedIn and Twitter too. Thanks for listening, and we'll hope to see you in our next episode.